Good day everyone! Ituturo ko po sa inyo paano mag-solve ng mean, variance, and standard deviation of discrete random variables sa paraan na madali mong maintindihan. So, ito yung formula to find the mean. Ito naman yung formula to find the variance and for the standard deviation. Okay? So, pag tinignan mo siya, akala mo parang mahirap. Ano? Pero sa totoo lang, madali lang siya. Now, for mean, ito yung ating formula, mean. Okay? Itong symbol na ito is a Greek symbol, means uh, mu. Ang tawag sa symbol na yan ay mu, pero it represents the mean. So, mean is equal to summation. This is also a Greek symbol called sigma, for capital letter sigma. Okay? Ibig sabihin, summation x times p of x. So, ibig sabihin, kunin mo yung x, i-times mo sa p of x, tapos ipa-plus mo siya kasi summation. Now, uh, some cases, yung mean, minsan wala sa tanong, hindi find the mean, kundi find the expected value. Okay? So, pag tinanong what is the expected value, that is also the mean. Now, ang variance naman, ito yung symbol niya, uh, this is also sigma, no? Pero this is a small letter or small letter na sigma sa Greek, okay? So, variance may square siya is equal to the summation of x minus mean squared times p of x. Pag meron kang variance, tapos kinuha mo yung kanyang square root, boom, yun na ang kanyang standard deviation. Walang kahirap-hirap. So, let's get started. Solve for the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the following probability distribution table. Okay, so I have here a table or a probability distribution. Uh, this is the number of monthly absences of a student based on his records. Ibig sabihin lang nito, 50% ang probability na zero ang absent niya. Okay, 30% yung probability na isa ang absent niya. Then, 40% ang probability na dalawa ang absent niya for a month. Then, 50% na tatlo ang absent niya. So, we're going to solve for the mean, variance, and standard deviation. Ngayon, gagawa tayo ng table ano, para mas, mas ma-organize yung ating computation. So, first, lagay natin yung formula ng mean. So, mean is equal to the summation of x times p of x. So, una, uh, susulat ko muna yung x natin, yung ating random variable. So, kopyahin ko lang muna, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, just copy from the given. Then, yung p of x natin, sulat ko lang din yan. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, naka-percent yan. So, gawin nating decimal. So, to make this decimal, move ka lang ng 2 decimal places to the left. So, yung 15%, maging 0.15. Yung 30% 0.3 or 0.30. Yung 40% is 0.4 or 0.40. Then, yung 15% again, that is 0.15. So, next, sa formula natin ng mean, we have the summation of x times px. So, dapat alam natin itong x times p of x. So, lagay ko dito x times p of x. So, ibig sabihin lang yan, I-multiply natin yung x tsaka yung p of x. Ganun lang siya kadali. No? So, you can use calculator uh, para mas madali. Pero in this case, ma ma maliliit lang naman na number, mabababang number. We can solve this mentally. So, 0 times 0 0.15, of course, that's 0. 1.0.30, that is 0 0.30. 2 times 0 0.40, that's 0 0.80 or 0 0.8. Then, 3 times 0 0.15, that is 0 0.45. Okay? So, again, you can use calculator if you want. Now, next, kunin natin yung summation. Pag sinabing summation, i-add lang natin lahat to. So, this is the summation of x times p of x. Add lang natin yan, 0 plus 0 0.30 plus 0 0.80 plus 0 0.5. Pag in mo yan, can use your calculator, or pwedeng mano-mano, that is equal to 1.55. So, 
So therefore, our mean is equal to ano yung summation ng x times p of x? Ito na yun. That is 1.55. Okay? So ito na yung ating mean. 1.55. Diba? Ganun lang kadali. You just simply multiply, then add. Okay? Dalawang operations lang ang ginamit natin doon. Addition and multiplication. So we are done with the mean. Next, we start with start solving about the variance. Ito yung formula ng variance. Yung next column natin, kunin natin tong x minus min. So, lagay ko dito, x minus min. Okay. So, what is our x? Ito yun. I-minus mo ngayon sa ating min na nakuha, which is 1.55. Ibig sabihin nito, kung mali ang min mo na nakompute mo, malamang mali na rin tong variance mo. So, be careful, no? Sa min, dapat tama na agad yan. So, we have x. At ano yung x natin? That's 0. 0 minus min, which is 1.55. So, pag minus natin yan, that is negative 1.55. So, I think erase ko na lang to, no? Diretso ko na lang siya para magkasya siya. So, this is negative 1.55. So, 0 minus min. Next, 1 minus min. So, yan ay 1 minus 1.55. That is negative 0 0.55. Okay? Then we have 2 minus yung 1.55, that is 0 0.45. Kung nahirapan kayo, no, you can use calculator. Uh, next, 3 minus 1.55, that is 1.45. Okay, next. Sa formula natin, nakalagay square ng x minus mean. So, kunin natin yung square nyan. Uh, we have x minus mean squared. So, ibig sabihin, itong x minus mean, i-multiply natin sa sarili niya. Therefore, kapag in-square natin yan, mawawala lahat ng negative kasi negative times negative, positive. So, dapat dito, walang negative. Lahat ito, positive. Negative 1.55 times negative 1.55, that is 2.4 0, 2, 5. So, mas mabilis ito kung meron kayong calculator, lalo na kung scientific calculator. No? Uh, gamitin ko lang 4 decimal places. Then, negative 0.55 times negative 0.55, that is 0 0.3025. Then, we have 0 0.45 times 0 0.45. So, point 2025, then 1.45 times 1.45, that is 2.1025. Okay, so ginawa ko na lang 4 decimal places. Next, so sa formula natin, nakalagay square ng x minus mean times p of x. So ito ang ilalagay natin. Um, use different colors, so puti na lang. So, we have x minus mean squared times p of x. Okay? So, itong x minus mean squared times p of x. So, times mo lang to. Ito, tsaka yan. Okay? So, of course, uh, you can use calculator again para mas madali. So, what 2.4025 times 0 0.15 that is equal to 0 0.3604. Okay, na-round off ko na siya, no? To four decimal places. Next, ito, times the P of X na 0.30. That's 0 0.0908. Then, next one, ito, times 0 0.40. That is 0 0.081. Then, last one, that is 0 0.3154. Again, round off ko na siya, no? In four decimal places. Then, you simply add, okay? Summation nito. 
uh, pag inad natin to, um, this is equal to 0 0.8976. So, this is the summation. Hindi ko na ilagay dito yung summation. Hindi ano? na magkasya. Pero ito yun. Yung summation ng x minus mean squared times p of x. So, therefore, what is our variance? Our variance is 0 0.8976. Diba? Madali lang. Okay? So, just follow the steps. Kapag sinundan mo tong table natin, talaga makukuha mo ang sagot dahil madali lang siya no i just use multiplication addition di ba subtraction di ba ganun lang next we solve for the standard deviation to, to solve the standard deviation kunin lang natin yung square root ng ating variance so ano ang square root dito sulat ko lang yung formula So, variance is equal to the square root of nito, ang ating standard deviation, 0 0.8976. O, pindutin mo lang sa calculator mo, ang lalabas dyan ay 0 0.9207. Okay? So, this is now our standard deviation. Okay? That's it. So, we are done with the mean variance and standard deviation. Just follow the steps. Sure ako na kayang-kaya mo itong isolve. Okay? Thank you for watching.